So, um, wanted to do a demonstration and work with um, a dilemma as related to one-ishness. And it's Margaret, right? Right. Okay. I was wondering if you could, you know, describe in your own words what you'd like to work on. I've been thinking a lot about kind of the connections of what I have felt that have been struggles for me. And a lot of it seems like most of it relates to rela relationships, interactions. Mm -hmm. And it seems to stem from a need for affirmation, for uh, assurance that I'm not going to be rejected. Mm -hmm some kind of um, attempt to be to be okay to be okay to please others mm -hmm. and from little on I remember feeling a need to please my parents because that was the kind of experience of affirmation I received mm -hmm. mainly if I wasn't being corrected or being uh, directed in some better way mm -hmm. So I learned that um, the best thing was to try to please my parents, to try to be, never to do anything wrong, so there would not be any kind of um, negative feedback. Some, some ones have, uh, I was talking yesterday, you know, some ones have childhood backgrounds where there was chaos and there was advocating adults in the environment and they had to become little adults. Other ones come out of atmospheres of, uh, or, or kind of describe their childhood in terms of atmospheres of uh, criticism or high standards. And in the, the severely critical version of it, it's like nothing you ever do is right and you're real hard on yourself and you're constantly dodging the criticisms of others and saying them to yourself first in order to anticipate what, what they might say so that you're not surprised and you don't get caught out. And, and then there's a kind of gentler version in, you know, healthier households where it's almost more like there are high standards that hover in the air implicitly and no one's really clubbed with them exactly, but they are reinforced and reinforced and repeated and if you don't live up to them, you're corrected and the expectation, however implicit, is that that's what you aspire to. Sort of the way um, uh, parents of uh, immigrant parents might have high expectations for their children in the new world. I think this latter is, is my experience. Mm -hmm. uh, my mother was very directive and wanted us to know what was right and how to do it and uh, to um, learn how to, you know, <clears throat> to do everything that would be needed in a, you know, a future life on our own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she was the daughter of the lady who came from Germany at age 20. Mm -hmm. And so I think she had a very German... Mm -hmm. and German uh, and uh, learning. Uh, uh -huh. My mother was not, um, you know, not, not uh, a type that would yell around at us or anything. She would just tell us something and that would be sufficient, mm -hmm. you know. And. <clears throat> and I think my father was um, kind of a free-spirited, not, not that free, but a very pleasant person. And um, um, what he, he could say something once, and we knew that that was the thing to do, but he was never uh, angry or fierce with us or anything like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not a punitive so, household. No, yeah. not at all. Mm -mm. But a lot was said quietly and by implication. Mm -hmm.